Part of the PBA Summer Swing with Kyle Troop from Taylorville, North Carolina. First career TV show, first ever PBA title as well. Not quite as colorful as a spectator. Won his first ever title watching the man who's won the most ever in PBA Tour history, Walter A. Williams Jr. with 47. It's got to go through Kyle's mind. Could I get that many? Could I get close? The fro didn't look quite as alive. Russell gets us started. Gets a little help. Just the 10 stands. Again, we see another miss left of target on this 52 feet oil pattern. 52 foot oil pattern, I should say. Crashes through the pins, almost leaves the 3 7 10. Three gets kicked late, it's just a 10 pin. Which Ronnie from Marion, Indiana converts. Well, here last year, the summer swing, the Bear Open, and a dramatic victory. Walt oh. Trey coming up for nine pin win. Has the pocket like dialed in. Dolce yesterday still loves the atmosphere. The competition keeps him going. Last PBA Tour title five years ago. Very active on the PBA 50 title. Continue to pile up trophies, checks, and accolades. Shot there by Walter Ray. Our friends at Roll Tech bring us the stat of the day. 10 pin conversion rate. The general public makes 68%. Won't see Deadeye miss many of those. As long as he can stay as far right for as long as he possibly can, he has a chance to win this tournament. When he has to move into that fourth arrow, that fifth arrow, kind of levels the playing field a bit because of his lack of power. All 10 down into the pit for Ronnie Russell. Yellow pin four in his career on TV. In title matches, eight and seven overall in eight appearances coming in to the summer swing. Two thousand thirteen won the Brunswick Euro Challenge in Munich, Germany. His first ever win on U.S. soil last year here at the summer swing, the Bear Open. Nice ball change. This pattern is all about direction, and this direction's perfect through the front with just enough back end reaction to drive 10 in the pit. Back to Walter Ray. No help on the 10 this time. Um, the one thing that was interesting when we talked to him was that he said, you know, even though this pattern is 52 feet in length, the volume is very light. So the lanes transition very quickly. You have to stay on top of it. There's the 10, there's his mark. 
Walter A. Tolson never even thought when he first started bowling, because he really started competing quite late as a teenager in California, he even get to 10 titles. Well, 47 titles, seven-time player of the year. He's done it all. With shots like that. See him kind of nudging ever so slightly to the middle part of the lane. He's right around third arrow now. Remember, the pocket's right around that 17th board. And as straight as he's going, it's like 15 to 15 and into the pocket. Primal Rage Remix. Just little things all over. It's not a big deal. For Ronnie Russell. I thought it was something more than that, sorry. My footing is already bad enough, sorry about that. <laughs> Boy, has he come a long way. I remember I'm when the he reason couldn't... why they stopped doing footwork of the pros. I remember when he couldn't pry it off of his hand on television, and now he's a two-time winner. Bold 300 on television, I think the 24th player in PBA history. They let a look at it. And 60 feet to success for Ronnie Russell. The Doug Gottlieb Show is fast-paced and always opinionated. Get to know Gottlieb face-to-face -face with the Doug Gottlieb Show weekdays at 3 Eastern on CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Ronnie returning to OKC. He calls his greatest victory, greatest moment in his career, winning last year. Looking for help, seven pin, won't get this time. Spin it more, Ronnie. Gosh. was a range. 20 pin lead for Ronnie Russell through five. Walter A. Williams Jr. can actually tie things up with a strike in the fifth and a strike in the sixth. It to a 10 pin lead for Williams to Ryan Russell. Straight up 15 and a half board. Hooks to the 17th board. Nice react. I'm talking that ball curving an inch and a half. Isn't that amazing? Midpoint accuracy, trying to continue that. Left lane, yes. Another for Walter Ray Williams Jr. Back to back strikes, evens things off. All tied. Russell, Williams Jr. head to head. Each trying to climb the ladder at the summer swing here at OKC. All tied up, Walter Ray Williams Jr. head to head with Ronnie Russell. Third seed and the fourth seed here at the Summer Swing. Time for Randy in this week's Track Tech Talk. Let's talk backswing. Yeah, how about old school, new school? Walter Ray on the left, Ronnie Russell on the right. And you're going to see a huge contrast here. Now, look at how high the backswing is at Walter Ray, and look at where Ronnie Russell is. But here's the most important factor. It's the direction of the backswing. 95% of the players on our tour have the ball come either straight back or a little bit away from their body in the backswing. That way the ball can 
reroute and tuck underneath the shoulder on the way down. Six for Russell. Oh boy, a disaster with the big four. Just the four seven remains up for Ronnie. You, you said six for Russell. I thought you were clairvoyant because he almost got six on that shot. Wow, this is close. That was almost the grandma's teeth, and then it turned into a big four, and then now it's just the four seven. There's a conversion. Walter Ray just very stoic while he awaits his next shot. He just kind of sits there and stays in his own frame of mind, his own head, visualizing what he wants his body to do, the shot he wants to make, visualizing his ball going down the lane. Help on the seven, yes! Goes down late. Too good a shot not to strike, and Ronnie Russell catches that seven late. <laughs> Here, Walter had a little fun over that one. For good reason, the Barbers all close shave of the day. Really nice shot, rips the five into the seven. The seven gets stubborn for just a second and then finally goes down. Walter oh, trying to stay hot. Mm. Four pin wow. stands. Wow. So there's that transition we, we talked about earlier. With, lane, man. The light volume, <laughs> Ronnie Russell's high rev rate, and the first part of the lane that's going to get beat up is the front part of the lane. <laughs> Was bidding for the four bagger there. Ronnie Russell's keeping Walter A. Williams Jr. loose. There's a conversion for Dead Eye. I'm not sure at all the. TV matches of Walters, I'd call it, ever seen that sort of fun interaction. Yeah, you don't see it very often, mm, but interesting. It, it's very interesting. It's not very common. Twenty years already in the Hall of Fame for Walter Ray. That one into the one three pocket leaves the ten. Yeah, it leaves the soft ten, Dave, and that's the problem. He didn't get his ball to finish high enough in the pocket. And not enough drive to kick that ten pin out. Spare here, we're all even, but Ronnie Russell is working on a strike. Oh, get left. Finds the ten. <laughs> I mean, you just never see that from Walter <laughs> Ray. He's having fun out here. Chris Gilling is GM, right Fire Lake Bowling Center. <laughs> All fine. The match play rounds were contested. Great to see Chris here. What Came a nice, out. what a nice man to us. Is. Made sure we're comfortable for the first start today. <laughs> Great guy. Thank you for all you do for our tour, Chris. Now Ronnie Russell can take a 10-pin lead right here. Except for the 10 pin. Wow. Really good shot. That was really good. <sighs> the difference between Walter A's shot and Ronnie Russell's shot, six pin up and around the 10. Walter A's shot, the six pin laid lifeless in the right channel. Ringing 10 and then a conversion for Russell. What a match we've got brewing here. I got yelled get there on the spare. Um, can we re-rack this? Channel for re-rack. Do something like eight ten. Re rack this. All tied up. I don't want to win. Ninth and tenth frame. So. <laughs> Only lefty Rhino Page waits. 
Get your morning jolt with CBS Sports Network as Craig Carter and former NFL MVP Boomer Esiason give us their take on all the latest around the world of sports. Boomer and Carton weekday mornings at 6 Eastern only on CBS Sports Network. There you reckon? All right. Kyle Troop's hairdo is unbelievable. He's having some fun back there with his buddies. He's already won on the summer swing. He's been cracking up this entire match. All tied up. Russell. Perfect spot in the 1-3 pocket. Really good shot again. Ronnie Russell just making great shots. One of the hotter players on tour next to Jason Belmonte. Lost the touring players to Parker Bone the third in a roll off. Oh, Speaking of roll offs, if they both strike out, guess what? We're headed for one. Wow. In the tenth, all tied up. This is fun. Lost to Parker Boone third. Players championship in his hometown Indianapolis earlier this year. After tying at 237 apiece, did Ronnie Russell. And right now, checking out Dead Eye. Left lane. Oh. Four pin. How did it get up there? <sighs> Same situation he was in the last game against Sean Maldonado. When he stepped up in the 10th frame, he could have shut out Sean. But right now, Walter Ray Williams Jr. in jeopardy of losing. If he spares here and then strikes him a still shot, it's the same scenario. Ronnie Russell would need the first hit. Phil shot four. There's the spare. And now here comes the big Phil. Feet to success there for Walter Ray Williams Jr. A perfectly placed ball in the one three pocket. And again, the pressure is on his opponent. Ronnie Russell has to strike on this ball to move on. If he goes spare strike, we're going to a roll. That's what's required for the victory. Ronnie Russell has not struck the last two times on this right lane. Oh, yeah. Liked it all the way. Walter Ray Williams Jr., the GOAT. His run has come to an end today by the hands of Ronnie Russell. Just a phenomenal shot here. I can tell that mine didn't. Huh? I thought mine was dead flush over there. <laughs> Can't believe it actually hooked. So you're the next guy to call me Shimwrecker now. That's weird. <laughs> you're the only guy left. Come on, honey. Get there. Needed six. How about ten for Ronnie Russell? He is victorious. Will we ever see Walter A. Williams Jr. again on this big stage? It was a pleasure to call at least one more of his TV appearances. Time to pull out this America ball here. 175th in his great career. $4.5 million career earnings, most ever. They'll come short today, though. And it was good, Randy, I think, to see Walter Ray enjoying himself out there. Really appreciating the moment, as he said to us yesterday. At 55, I'm not sure how many more times I can do this. Good job.
Great shot. Russell advances. Rhino Page awaits. Ronnie, so much success here a year ago, winning on the PBA Summer Swing in Oklahoma City. One step closer to another PBA title. He's alive and well. They call him the GOAT, G-O-A-T, greatest of all time. Walter A. Williams, Jr., 47-time title as falls to Ronnie Russell. Exciting match, 235, 217. Russell takes on Rhino Page next. Time for the Ebonite flashback. Let's go back to the 2014 Badger Open. Contained an extremely diverse group of finalists. There was PBA Hall of Famer Pete Weber. PBA rookie, college-born sensation Marshall Kent from Yakima, Washington. As well as a two-hander Brian Valenta with a loft. Made his first PBA Tour TV appearance. The show belonged, though, to Bill O'Neill from Langhorn, PA, outside Philly. First three matches of the event contested on the longest of the PBA oil patterns. Saw Kent with a tough time with the pattern. Valenta knocked off Mika Koivunemi. And then it was Valenta knocking off Kent. And the O is tough. Pete Weber by 14 in the semifinals took out the legend, PDW. But Valenta met his match in the championship match, going strike for strike with O'Neill. A battle all the way to the 10th frame where Valenta doubled, forced O'Neill to do the same, which he did. And eventually would end Valenta's championship hopes. Bill O'Neill won his fifth career PBA title. He appeared in four of the five summer swing events last year here in OKC. Was fantastic. At the Badger Open as well. Exciting matches eventually. With a pressure on, O'Neill comes through and wins his fifth career PBA Tour title. Russell won here last year as well. He's going to take on the only lefty in the field, Rhino Page from just outside Orlando, Florida. Russell and Rhino next.